<laughs> Don't joke about that. So I think all cultures are weird. I'm not talking about religion, I'm talking about all cultures. I think all cultures are weird. Just depends on where you're born. And I think the meaning of life is you just have to learn to live with the people that you're not truly compatible with. That's the point of my show. Uh, let's roll the first clip. How many have seen stand-up comedy before? Raise your hands. Just a couple of people. None of, the, none of my uh, Arab brothers have seen it? No, one. I tried to explain to my mother what stand-up comedy is. I told her, well, there's a stage. They give me a microphone. And they give me some money. And I go up and I make fun of Arabs. And I, uh, yeah, and I just say bad things about Arabs. And they clap and they laugh. And my mom looked at me and said, Omar, are you a politician? <laughs> well, basically. He's uh, Danish, my son. I have a son. He's, uh, he's uh, one and a half years old. He's half, he's half Danish uh, and half Egyptian, uh, which is weird. It must be like being half Arab, half, half Israeli. Everybody hates you. And, um, and, and, and he, he doesn't look like me at all. He's white and he has blue eyes. Um, I call him the little terrorist, just to make my neighbors nervous. Um, and I actually wanted twins because then I could feed them and, and play the, the two towers, but my wife didn't think that was funny at all. Uh, about two years. Uh... So, uh, the stereotypes today are so bad, I don't have to write jokes anymore. I just tell people about my life. Um, I have many brothers. One of them is called Usama. Usama works as a flight mechanic for uh, the Danish uh, airlines, SAS. He doesn't wear a name tag when he's working. Uh, some people think it's racist. In our family, we think it's fair enough. You know, no, no, nobody wants to be sitting in a plane and seeing the pilot sticking his head out going, Usama, did you fix the wings? <laughs> But we were going to New York, and uh, Usama, he got hold of the tickets, because uh, this is how it works. If you, you work for the airline, you get really, really cheap tickets. But you're not guaranteed a place on the plane. So you get a stack of tickets. It's called ID tickets. So you, like, you can take uh, the flight after the one you, were, you wanted to get on, or you can take a flight the next day. And um, we knew that we were going to get stereotyped and, uh, at the airport, so we thought, no matter what happens, we're going to have fun. Uh, so we showed up uh, in the airport, went up to the counter and said, hi, we would like two seats uh, close to the cockpit, please. And uh, no humor at all. So we get, to, uh, we get to New York and we get through the, the first uh, passport uh, security check thing. And then a guy with a big gun comes and says, hey, uh, we would like to talk to you guys. So uh, they put us, put, put us in a room and we had to fill out this stupid form, form like why we were there and uh, uh, what we do for a living and who we work for. And the people that I work for are called the FBI. Uh, in Denmark, it's a comedy, uh, comedy agency and it's short for Funny Business Incorporated. So I was filling out the form and I could see it was too stupid to write FBI on the form. So like to explain it to the officer, I write FBI equals Funny Business Incorporated. <laughs> And I give him the, the paper. And he takes it and says, ha, ha, ha. Very funny. So you're a comedian, are you? I go, well, actually, I am. And he says, OK. And what does your little brother do? I say, uh, he's, a, he's a flight mechanic. And he says, Usama is a flight mechanic. I says, yes. And then he says, this is very suspicious. And he leaves and he comes back with two other guys who have even bigger guns. And he says, we would like to see your return flight ticket, please. And I go, oh my god, no, please. Because we didn't have one, we had 80. <laughs> so I go over to his hammer and I grab this huge stack of tickets. And I give it to him. And he says, very suspicious, very suspicious. And I say, I can understand that you think that. And then he says, are you really a comedian? I says, yes, I am. Then he says, say something funny now. <laughs> I go, what? He says, say something funny now. And I look at him, I go, OK, I know where Osama is. And he goes, where, where? And I point on my little brother, he says, he's right there. <laughs> no humor at all. Yeah, the, the
the stereotype of, of that's why we go into the Muslims go into jihad is because of virgins. I don't I don't want virgins. I live in Denmark. Um, they're about 12, 13 years old. It's not proper. And it's really stupid to think that that is our main motivation for doing that stuff. Men get married because we reach, we reach a certain point in our lives where uh, we get tired. Uh, we, you know, we don't want to chase around and go out and the loud music. All we want is some peace and quiet. Uh, that's why men get married. Um, it's true. And, and, and uh, why do we need uh, some peace and quiet? That's because you know, we only have one track in our brains. And, um, and we need some space and quietness so our thoughts can fall into place. That's why men go fishing. You can buy fish in the supermarket, but we would like to go up to open sea to avoid the question, what are you thinking about? <laughs> because quite honestly, quite often, we men, we're not thinking about anything. It's just quiet. And uh, I, I was thinking of continuing this joke, but I can't do it when the, the sheikh is here. It's uh, <laughs> But I'll, I'll, I'll cross it out here just a second. <laughs>